Hello and welcome back to who knows which episode of Factorio. All I know is that our automation is severely lacking, but it looks like we're beginning to set up a main bus. It's just these furnaces are parallel, so we're going to have to run all the way out that way. That doesn't make a lot of sense. We probably need to run these furnaces off to the side or down below. Something like that. As long as the lab and very soon multiple labs are working constantly, then you know, it doesn't matter that much. But we need more labs for sure. We need a little bit more copper and a lot more iron. And I think pretty soon we need to bring the coal up from the south because it's really far away. It, it, that that walk down to get more coal is uh, is a long one. So we sh we ought to bring some of that coal up. And we don't have splitters, otherwise I'd split half the coal west to power the electrical grid and half the coal north to power everything else, but that's fine. Once we get to electric smelting, Oh, I like that. That was not a thing the la the um during the let's play videos I watched on YouTube. Belt immunity equipment inserted into armor to prevent you from being moved by transport belts. That was something that they were suggesting was a good idea. And it was it probably existed in one mod or another, but it wasn't in the main game at that time. That's pretty cool. Landfill. Oh yeah, I saw this in a stream. Landfill is that you can you can create landfill from mining stone. And once you have landfill, you store it in your inventory and you can it can be used to cover water. So if you need to like build on top of a lake, you just create landfill and fill in the lake. Kind of cool. Anyway, that stuff is far off. Oh, I definitely want steel axe. Heavy armor I want. Uh, fast inserters are important. Uh, what's most important though? I think logistics at this point. Because we're, we're getting close to setting up a main bus. Yeah, let's do logistics. Stone walls and optics are pretty important, but they can wait a little bit. Yeah, we just got to get some of this coal moving north. That's all. So, how's our storage here? 169? That's weak sauce. How far out are we from? Hmm, what am I even looking for? What's what's it called? Oh, it's I think it's electronics. Hold on. Uh, no. It's electric energy distribution. That's pretty far off, actually. Yeah, I need steel. Green science and electronic, that's far off. So forget about that. We'll use the regular poles for now.
Okay, that's cool. Oh, uh, in the tutorial, I should have built a buffer for that stuff. That would have been smart. Hey, you live and learn. Okay, well, let's just build one for now. I'm talking about the mining drill. I'm short on iron. Hopefully by the time we set up the coal mining too much, uh, we'll have logistics so we can split it. That's my uh, thought process. How's our grid doing? It's pretty much at peak. So, yeah. That's also important. Not too difficult to fix though. And our, our lab is working 24-7. We could benefit from another lab. Needs circuits and iron. I'll just build some labs out here somewhere. I'm going to build an iron chest out of sheer laziness because iron is still precious but trees are far away so I'm being lazy. Now the reason why I built this lab and this chest is so I can just steal these beakers. Oh god I said beakers. The internet is going to flame me forever for saying beakers. They're not beakers, they're... Uh, what's the term? Erlenmeyer flasks? Something like that. Anyway, they're technically called... Automation Science Packs. Which I am not going to call them that. Yay, logistics. Okay. So... Hmm... We don't need any of this junk. Electronics. We're gonna do electronics. Because it's a prerequisite for other stuff we want. Yeah, so now that we have logistics, uh, I'm going to build a fair amount of these important items. Oh, we got plenty of those. Uh, we definitely need uh, another steam engine. And we don't necessarily need another boiler yet but soon so yeah we can get rid of this pistol 
I build one submachine gun and a good amount of ammo. We need more plates for the iron armor. So let's just build one. And yeah, that's pretty good. We got some armor, a oh, submachine gun, and ammunition. Okay, uh, do we build any? No, but uh, I'll build it right now. Oh, that's at the end of the line. <sighs> it's not that long of a wait. We'll just add the uh, steam engine. Because this boiler should be creating enough steam for both of these. Yeah, looks like it's good to go. Alright, cool. We got a submachine gun and light armor. Now I'm going to build a an electric mining drill. Right there. Not the best placement for it to be honest, but uh I try to get the edges before I get anything else, so it's fine. Now coal can go a little ways west before it goes north. Hey you. Alright, uh, let's split it here for now, I guess. Uh-huh. I didn't build nearly enough belts for this. So I need more iron, go figure. I thought I was prepared. Okay, well we did electronics so that we can do fast inserters. Yeah. Fast inserters were cool. They actually weren't available in the tutorial. I feel like they need to redo the tutorial completely um, just to make sure that it takes advantage of the modern um, tech tree. Because right now, it's it's not taking into consideration most of those, uh, several of those texts. Ooh, what are we short on? Copper plates, because we were moving them manually. Still only got two of those. Hmm. We need to automate that soon, actually. More iron. A little bit more copper. What we need right now is a ton of belts, though. So. Well, that's not as much as I wanted. We can get that. Yeah, well, I mean, they'll make all the belts that I can. What do I need for belts? Just gears and plates. So why don't I... Yeah, there we go. That's better. It's 
a little bit complicated what I just did, but what I was doing is I was making gears in my pocket and then belts. And there's no way to undo that except for to stop making the belts. And then, because I picked up gears, so I didn't need more gears at that point. So once I stopped making the belts, I just started making them again and uh, made them instead of from scratch, I made them with the gears that were already made in the factory. So. Alright, so this chest is going to fill up with coal, and then only as needed is it going to be emptied into this boiler. So that should give us some flexibility. Now in the meantime, we're also splitting coal in order to go north. And at the moment, we don't need the coal to do anything except for get dumped into a chest. Basically because I'm trying to not have to run all the way down south to get that coal. Otherwise at the moment I don't need the coal to be brought up here. I'm not automating the coal in any way. So, walls, definitely. Weapon shooting, projectile damage, optics. I kind of want lights. It's better for YouTube videos if I have good lighting. Plus, doesn't that build into lasers? Yeah, laser turrets. Oh, well, that's all the sciences. No, there's yellow science now? Well, that is unknown to me, but yeah, we'll work on it. How are my radars even doing? Don't seem to be any attacks yet, although our pollution is growing every... Most things that we build, adding more pollution. Okay, so uh, if you go to the map by pressing N, M, and you hit Alt, um, it'll add pollution to the map screen. And this boundary is where the pollution is spreading to. Now you'll notice it's spreading pretty close to here and pretty close to here. So very, very soon, those biters are going to be starting to be getting more angry because of the pollution. Um, there's a hidden mechanic that I'm pretty sure is still, it's pretty, sh I'm pretty sure that's still the way it works, is that they use the pollution as points, as a type of like currency in order to produce units. So the, the way that it, like, if you imagine it to be like, the currency makes them stronger or makes them more angry, whichever way you want to, want to call it, um, that's what's happening. But basically the more pollution, the more biters, the stronger they get, the harder they hit, the more frequently they hit, the higher their level, etc. So we're getting to that point in the game where they're going to start coming at us. So I, I have these radar 
uh, radar turret combos that are only going to last a certain amount of time. Uh, soon we're going to need like walls, multiple turrets, better ammunition, things like that. So, and we're definitely not ready for that yet. But we're using all of our iron. How are we suddenly using all of our iron? I haven't increased our usage of it yet. Okay, well. Copper, we definitely need at least a little bit. What happened to our iron production? Uh, I feel like this mine slowed down quite a bit. Okay, that's good spacing with the poles because, you know, they they have a, a, a one tile gap. Why are these inserters not working? And these... Okay, well they're working now. What if I did something like this, um, like a stone furnace, it, it pulls off the iron, no that's not going to work, oh but I could use a long inserter, mm, that's not going to work either, mm, let me think about it. Oh, because we're not researching anything. I thought I had started optics, but I hadn't. Okay, well, um, hmm. I'm trying to come up with an efficient way to smelt all of this iron in this area. It's a very large iron area. I'm just trying to figure out how to ferry the iron ore into a bunch of furnaces and onto a belt without messing it up too much. How would you do it?
I don't see any obstacles to the west. So maybe we can pretty much send our main bus to the west. That way we get the copper coming down, smelted, and onto the bus. I don't know. What does laser do? Nothing, right? It's just intermediate. All right. Engines. Stone walls go into gates and military science packs. Military science packs are used for landmines. Uh, advanced military stuff, not a big deal yet. Steel, however, required for solar energy, that's important. Uh, required for the steel axe. And heavy armor. Yeah, let's go for steel. Okay, well, I thought I was tripping because I did this in the tutorial. I hit Q and it cleared my my cursor, but then I hit Q again and it brought it back. the The thing is, when I tried it again, it didn't it didn't do it. It didn't bring it back, but now it's working consistently. So maybe we'll try it. Uh. But that's not. I get rid of the belt and it brings up the mine. How does that work? All right, still a bit of a mystery. Uh, let's do a vertical column of mines. Starting here. And going... Is that even worth it right there? No. Right there. And then... Wait. Right there. Am I missing? Ah, we'll get it later if we need to. Okay, steel. We'll do steel axes next. And then heavy armor, I think.
All right. Um, so bring it down by belts. Yeah, we need more stone, huh? We haven't needed much stone up until now. How's our coal doing? 80 set. Oh, wow, that yeah, we need more coal. should do for now but near the coal was these things which are really handy they give a lot of stone Our research is crawling, so we gotta get that worked out. And just for giggles, I drop down a stone mine and a chest. Because who wants to manually mine that stuff, even if you're not automating it? Okay, so that's empty. But some in the chest. So we'll do it that way. Yeah, it looks like we need more labs. Our science is slowing down quite a bit. All right. Um, the reason we needed stone was to build furnaces. I know there are gaps, um, I just really like the poles meeting up with each other whenever possible. So I'm going to make it look a little less organized just so that it's symmetrical. Well, in a way, there's a pattern.
All right, so oh, like I said, they gotta be parallel. I just I think it looks better that way. What is there no Are these all backwards? They are, aren't they? <laughs> okay. Well, I suppose it won't hurt to run the iron up here. You know, for consistency. Don't let me forget that I built this stuff on top of the iron, though. Not that it matters that much. Interesting. We have accidentally balanced the belt. Because we're loading from different sides. That's fine. Okay, well, we have exceeded our time limit for this episode. Like I said, it's a good sign when you go past your time limit. I don't set a timer. I just get a feel for it. The reason why is I don't want to have a stopping point that doesn't make sense. Um, like a hard time limit. I want to kind of feel out approximately 30 minutes. And if it seems like there's a good point to stop, that's where I'll cut the episode. Which, you know, we just fixed our iron a little bit. So, yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. I am, by the way, by no means going to stop playing. Even though it is shortly after 2 in the morning. So, have a good day. <laughs>